It was past noon in front of Seaside and Tradewinds condominiums in Orange Beach. Word had spread that a sea turtle nest had hatched overnight and many were disappointed they'd missed the show, including the Gregory family. Little did they know they were about to have front row tickets to the encore. I just saw this movement and everything and I looked and I was like, holy cow, that's an actual turtle. This is perfect. Gregory alerted me and I started recording. Soon the baby loggerhead had drawn a lot of attention and as the crowd gathered, the cheering began. Here he goes. Several times he fell into somebody's footprint or a divot that somebody made, but he flapped his little arms and legs and, and uh, craned his little neck and flipped himself back over. Sea turtles generally hatch together. Their power in numbers offers better odds for survival as they head to the water. The saga of this unusual clutch began last night about 11.30. Jeremy Ritchie and his daughter, the, the Mary nest. Evelyn, uh, were on the beach the when some movement caught really Jeremy's right. eye. He was like, there's so many crabs over here, and he picked up three of them, and he was like, oh, no, these are baby turtles, and he set them down, and he was trying to run away, and then the, he shined the light on them, and so they were following him because he didn't have a there light. There were turtles yeah. everywhere. <laughs> Richie reported the hatch, and Mary Evelyn helped share the beach volunteers, corral all the babies they could find, and get them to the water, 64 in all. Share the beach officials say the hatchlings were disoriented by lights on the condominiums and had scattered. The 65th, I'll just call it lucky, waited for an audience to make her grand entrance. After the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico welcomed her home, folks just stood around in amazement. This is the first turtle nest we've seen, so we have watched it every night, and to see the turtle hatch was just amazing. It was so small, it was, but it knew right where to go. It was really, really cool because I live in Colorado, so we never see stuff like this. It was the most amazing thing ever. I've wanted to see that my whole life. This was just one of 59 sea turtle nests that have been found on Alabama's beaches this nesting season. Now, all of these nests that have been found are clearly marked, and there's a sign with a phone number on it to call if you see hatching activity. Share the Beach officials want to remind folks that it is a federal crime to disturb sea turtle nests. Reporting live in Orange Beach, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.